But if this is something that starts happening again regularly, because this is something that was happening for a while. Hi guys, welcome back. It's me, Drew, and today's video that I have for you. Tonight we're opening the um, Sephora Play Box. Real quick, I wanted to let you guys know that um, the giveaway has finally been claimed. Someone has actually won and received the prize, so the giveaway is officially over. That was like a long time, like it was like a month and a half, like this giveaway just like wouldn't stop. I mean, it was great, but it was like, oh my goodness. So anyway, so today, back to Box Week. If you're new to my channel, Box Week is the week where me and my subscribers, we open um, all my subscription boxes uh, every day for a week straight. It's basically like a week of videos. And so you're catching us at the end if this is your first time on my channel. Also, make sure you click the red subscribe button down below and join our family because we're literally the best crew around because anybody and everybody can be in our crew. Oh, uh, so for a play is a $10 monthly subscription. It's been pretty consistent for the last few months. When it started out, it was like iffy. So there was like some months where you'd get like amazing boxes and sometimes you wouldn't. So now I feel like it's finally gotten to the place where it's consistently been a solid, solid bag. It's still not like my favorite subscription, but it is in like the top two or three. So inside, um, they have the playbook and it says step it up. Now, whenever you get your Sephora playbook, you can take this little card off the top and you get 50 bonus points. Um, and then inside it tells you how to use all the products and everything, but we're not gonna look at that because we wanna be surprised. And it says the best things in life are me. That's really cute. Oh my gosh, look, it's just got a little crown on. That's adorable, a little uh, necklace and everything. I like it. Um, so let's get inside the bag and see what we've got here today for our products. So the first item that I'm pulling out, oh, it's Ole Henriksen Truth Brightens Anti-Aging All-Day Hydration Truth Serum. Oh, it's a serum, okay. Um, and I told you I've really been big into like getting serums right now because ever since I was told that like for my skin that to help me with like preventing hyperpigmentation all that, that I need to start using a serum. So um, also first of all, look at this is the size of the sample. This is like a really, really generous size sample. Um, we'll take a little bit and put it on the back of my hand and rub it in and see how that feels. So it's definitely got a super like orange uh, citrusy smell to it, but it's like really refreshing and I like it. Um, it's go. I mean, it's blending in fine. It doesn't really have like this overwhelming, like amazing feeling or not amazing feeling. It definitely just has like the standard like serum feeling to it. Okay, the next item in the bag is the Way to Peel by Dr. Dennis Gross. Okay, we can't get it open. Um, supercharge your regimen with a clinical dose of retinol that acts in two ways as a peel to accelerate skin renewal and an antioxidant. So it looks like they gave us a couple of skin peels to try. Um, like I said, it seems like the theme for every box this month is it's some kind of like microdermabrasion, um, sort of like detexturizing item in the box, which I, like I said, for me actually works out great because I've actually been having a lot of skin texture issues with like the constant weather and seasonal changes. So it works for me. It's just kind of funny that like every single box like has like the exact same kind of items in it. And there hasn't been like this insane variety between all of them, if that makes sense. So the next item that's in here, it is Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. Um, so this is an item that I'm not really excited to see inside of a Sephora play bag. And the reason why, and this is something that would happen months ago, is this is an item that they'll give you with like a gift with purchase like on any given day. This is not something that you're like, wow, I never would have tried this or gotten this item. And that was something I had an issue with with Sephora Play in the beginning um, months ago. Now this like Ole Henriksen Truth Serum um, or those chemical peels, those are items that you will not usually get a gift with purchase and items you would not normally get to try. This is something that you get to try regularly. So I feel like this is kind of a weak item to have in the bag. Okay, so the next item is Sephora Super, um, I can't say the word, what, okay, it's waterproof eye makeup remover. Okay, that's really cool. So they gave me an eye makeup remover um, and it's their brand. So, I mean, we'll smell it. It's probably not really got much of a smell to it, but you never know. Okay, actually it does have a little bit of a unique smell to it. So this is cool to see. Again, eye makeup remover, that's not really like, 
I don't know. That's not really an item that I feel like you need to get to try out. I mean, that's more probably like a self-promotion thing, but for the most part, for the most part though you can get good eye makeup remover for like five or six bucks at like walmart you know what i'm saying like that's not like an item that i'm like oh my god if i don't try a new eye makeup remover how am i gonna go on with my life you know what i'm saying like i don't know so two of the items are great two so far i'm like kind of not thrilled about all right next we have um makeup forever aqua xl eye pencil okay so this is an eye pencil let's see here what color it is Looks like it's black. Well, open. Oh, it knocks up over. Okay, so we just have like a black eye pencil. Um, again, another item that like I feel like you really could get like maybe not specifically this brand, but a black eyeliner is like a standard like gift with purchase for a lot of things. Okay, so we're down to the final item, and this is Juliet has a gun, not a perfume. Okay. Um, looks like a fragrance. I guess it's not a perfume. <laughs> we're gonna spray it and see what it smells like. Oh. Ooh. So I actually really like this. Believe it or not, they sent me a fragrance that I like. Juliet has a gun, not a perfume. I actually like the smell. It's, it's definitely like more, um, I don't wanna say earthy, but it's a little bit like more of a rich scent to it. It's not super florally and citrusy, which are smells that I'm not usually big on. So, overall, I am not like in love with this bag. I feel like it's good because there is a couple items in here that I'm like really wowed about. But there's a majority of the items I feel like are items that they kind of just were like, ah, we got to give something out. Let's grab around and see. So it's not like it's going to be on the chopping block right now for this subscription. But if this is something that starts happening again regularly, because this is something that was happening for a while. I remember back like in the summertime, it was like two or three months of this where it was like we had this like constant like getting these bags of items that I you can either get a gift with purchase or that you've gotten plenty of times before. So I'm really nervous that they're going back down that path because the last previous boxes have been so amazing. So to have this happen was a little bit of a disappointment. But to recap, we got the Juliet has a gun not a perfume fragrance which I really really like the makeup forever um, black eyeliner which is right here um, the Sephora waterproof eye makeup remover um, the Ole Henriksen serum and the Smashbox photo finish primer I think that's everything so, oh wait, wait, wait and the um dr dennis gross uh chemical peels so the only two items i feel like are really really super bomb is the chemical peel and the old henriksen skincare serum otherwise i feel like the other items were a little bit of a miss so i like it especially like i said the fact that i got the serum and the peels makes up for it but overall i mean i really don't feel like this box was as much of a value as they normally are i'm not trying to be negative i'm just being honest with like what really we received here in the box today so that's everything i got in my box and that's all i have for you guys today but if you want to see more photos of me you can check me out on instagram snapchat and twitter at just like drew's well the same way is down below if you want to be a part of the just like drew crew and you're not already make sure you click that red subscribe button down below and join our forever family because we're literally the best crew around because anybody and everybody can be in our crew i love you guys so stinking much and if you like this video and you want to see more from me you know what to do just like drew have an amazing day have an amazing week have an amazing life and i will talk to you guys so stinking soon love you bye but it's Monday to them, it's and it's Monday supposed to, to be life. Why do you not know how my videos end? It's just, that bothers me. We're learning. It bothers, you know, it bothers me. Okay, have an amazing day, have an amazing, amazing. week, have, have an amazing. amazing.